Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is a cook with me. I haven't done one of these in a while, but you guys keep asking me to do one. So I shared this dish last week on my Instagram and got tons of questions on it. So I decided to film it this week and show you how I made it. This is a super quick and simple dish. You don't need much here. I'm just showing you what I used for mine. And then as usual, here's the list of everything I used. And yeah, let's jump right in. I'm starting by cutting the squash. And this is probably the hardest part of making this dinner is cutting the squash <laughs> because it's so hard and it just goes flying everywhere. But once you cut it in half, you're just gonna take out all the seeds and they come up pretty easy with a spoon. I just scoop them all out and then just put them to the side then I got my baking sheet and I just put them face up sprinkled or drizzled some olive oil on them and then I just added salt and pepper and then I just rub that in with the spoon you could do it with your hands but I just didn't feel like getting my hands dirty and then I just popped it in the oven I preheated my oven to 400 I just forgot to show you guys but you're just gonna put them in the oven at 400 for 45 minutes okay so the hardest and longest part of this dish is cutting the squash and then putting it in the oven to cook but once they're like there for 20 or 25 minutes I'll go and start the rest of the stuff I need to do for this meal so here I'm just cutting an onion I'm just using regular cooking onions and I'm just using one this is enough for me and tone it actually makes a lot but I'm using just one whole onion and then I'm just drizzling some oil in this pan because this is where I'm gonna cook the onions and the tomatoes but once I have my onion cut up I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up some garlic I love this little thing my mom gave me is just to get the skin of the garlic and it just makes it so easy you just cut the end put them in there roll them in your hands and then they come out like completely just clean <laughs> so once the oil is nice and hot I'm just gonna throw my onions in there eat put a little bit more of olive oil and then while they cook and get a little translucent I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up this garlic I usually use my little mini chopper but I decided to do it by hand I have no idea why I regretted it because <laughs> it would have been so much easier like that but you see once the onions are a little translucent I'm just gonna go ahead and put the garlic in it and then just move them around and while that cooks a little longer I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all my tomatoes I showed you guys this before I put a lid and just hold it with my hand and then I just run the knife through it that way I cut as many as I can at once and then whatever didn't get cut I'll just cut it individually <laughs> So once I'm done cutting my tomatoes, I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to the onions and garlic that are by now are nice and soft and translucent. And I'm just gonna add some seasonings to this, some salt, pepper, and then a little bit of these Italian seasonings. And then you're just gonna let them simmer there for about five minutes. So once my tomatoes are ready, my squash is also ready, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven and then I'm just gonna place it here on top of my stove next to my pan with my tomatoes. And then I just grab a fork and then you're just gonna pull all the squash out and as you know, it comes out looking like spaghetti. <laughs> So once you're done doing that, I just grabbed some tongs and I got all the spaghetti squash of the skin and then I just threw them in the pan with the tomatoes and the onions and then you're just gonna go ahead and mix that really good. Make sure the squash is nice and covered and then you can go ahead and taste it, see if you need any more seasonings or salt or pepper. I think mine was good so I just went ahead and mixed everything together and that's about it. So up to this point, this dish is not only vegetarian but also vegan. But now I am going to be adding some cheese because we love cheese. So I am adding some of these mozzarella pearls and all I'm doing is putting the mixture of tomato and squash back in their skins, adding a layer of the cheese and then I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing. And you could really add as much or as little cheese as you want. We really love cheese so I added a lot but you don't have to use any at all or you could just add as much as you want. And then once that's done, you're just gonna pop it back in the oven. So if you decide to put the cheese, you're just gonna go ahead and pop this back in the oven for 10 minutes and then your dinner will be ready. 
So once your timer goes off, this is what they look like when they come out. Just be very careful because it's super hot, but I think they even look pretty. <laughs> Okay, so now all you have to do is get them on a plate, which is actually pretty hard. They just keep slipping off my tongues. But once you get them on a plate, they're even easy to clean up because essentially you're eating inside this boat. So once you're done, you just throw them out and then pop the plate in the dishwasher or just wash it and it's super easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation to make it. It's super easy and it's super good. So let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.